disgusting. These are turtles. Made it to the Mississippi. I'm on the river, finally out of the Illinois River. Got refueled and uh, got some water here in Grafton, and we made it to the Mississippi River, baby. Finally, some views that aren't just trees on the side. So it's somewhere around 320, 330 miles on the uh, Illinois River and uh, it took somewhere maybe 10 to 14 days. So I'm glad to be out of there. I'm ready for some quicker paced currents and faster waters and uh, I'm ready to go to get down into Lake Barkley. I want to go swimming there and uh, get into the Kentucky Lake there. So looking forward to this Mississippi River in St. Louis is going to be sweet. Okay, so to celebrate getting here to the Mississippi, um, I'm anchored outside of Portage Island. So I uh, took the dinghy around and explored a little bit, found a spot that I want to have a bonfire tonight. So I'm going to go in and clear a little bit of that out and then dig a hole and uh, get some wood and kindling and whatnot prepped. Uh, and then I'll come back here. I'll probably have some pasta, some uh, dinner on board here and then go back for a couple beers and a bonfire there tonight. So I'm going to go in and I'll show you guys the island and clearing it out. Wranglers out there anchored, two anchors. I'm here just on the point of one of the eastern islands off of uh, Portage Island, <clears throat> actually Western Island. Um, so I'm gonna have my fire here. I know this doesn't look like much now, but I'm gonna clear this out. I brought some tools with me, clear this out. And this is just a huge, huge pile of wood. So um, kindling will not be a problem. Uh, it's just the snakes that I'm worried about. All right, so I'm here at the Mel Price Lock, and uh, we're just waiting for one more pleasure craft to come in um, north or from the north, heading southbound. Um, so this is what the inside of the lock looks like. This is one of the biggest locks on the Mississippi River. Uh, one of the newer ones, renovated I think in the late 70s. And so what I'm uh, doing here, I'm tied up to this is called a floating bollard. This rises and sinks with the water level, and so I just do a quick loop from the bow around and then to the stern and that keeps me shoved up against the side there so 
We're just waiting for one more guy to get in here, then the Lockmaster is going to shut the doors and open up the south doors, and uh, we'll be on our way and should be seeing a little bit more of a current. So we just made it through uh, the lock. So now we are about, I'm about to hit some current. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty fast here. Like I was saying, I think somewhere around four or five miles an hour. Um, it's quick. So um, I have like a mile until I hit the currents. And so I'm just kind of getting ready, getting things set. Maybe I'm overestimating it, but um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna scoot down river pretty quick here today after I get into these currents. It's 40 miles, so if I can get up, maybe seven miles an hour, um, that will make my trip a lot quicker today. So uh, we'll see how things go. Looking forward to seeing the Arch in St. Louis. It's a huge milestone. So after about 11 and a half hours at um, my motor today, I finally got into the Merrimack River right off of the uh, Mississippi River and um, had dinner and fell asleep early. And I woke up and I noticed there was a big fire outside. I thought maybe some guys were having a bonfire on the beach. Um, and I took my dinghy down and it's actually uh, some sort of wildfire. Maybe guys left a bonfire unattended and it spread. Um, and so I called the local fire department and I think they're gonna get some guys out here quick. Um, and I'm gonna take the dinghy down and get some footage, but this fire has spread into several trees. Um, it's gotten pretty bad here. So I just uh, was up there with the fire department and showed them where the fire was. Um, and so they're getting in there with their trucks and trying to figure out how to put it out. Um, I think it was those two fishermen that were here earlier. They didn't, they seemed like they were local and they didn't seem like they were drinking or messing around. But uh, I saw two lights in the woods uh, like that had circled back to come and look at it again. And then when they saw me in the dinghy, they took off. Um, so I don't know if it was them or not, but um, yeah, it's a pretty big fire and it definitely took down a couple big trees and got the cops and the fire department out here and I don't think I've ever called cops or the fire department before so it's uh, a little different. I mean, I'm several states away from home and 
still calling their stuff but uh either way um i'm glad no one's hurt no one was around there there's no houses there so um hopefully they'll be able to put it out without too much uh, other damage uh but crazy night Goodbye, Mississippi River. Can't say I'm gonna miss you. It's been a really tough river. Um, it's been a lot more challenging than the Illinois River with the current and the barges. Um, my Navionics program hasn't been the best and most up-to-date as far as river uh, depths, but I understand that the depths change with the rainfall. So, goodbye, Mississippi. Hello, Ohio River and Kentucky. Let's get to the land between